Jumbo, everybody. It feels like it's been a really long time since I've had a video that I haven't had scheduled out like weeks in advance to post on my channel. Um, we just got back from traveling and I just got my Christmas stuff up and I'm starting to kind of get into that swing of things. So I'm going to share with you my holiday house tour. I think all my Christmas stuff is up. I'm pretty sure. I hope I'm not forgetting something. I might be. I'm not sure, but let's go check it out. It is a rainy, gloomy day here at the Annie Simple Life Homestead, but that's okay. All right, so I've got a tree on my porch here. So this has uh, clear lights on it that'll turn on around 5 o'clock. It's on one of those light sensor timers. So that'll turn on in a little bit. I've got a huge wreath on my front door. Um, this was actually my husband's grandmother's before she passed away. So we inherited that. We put it up for sentimental reasons. It kind of overtakes the door because I don't live in the biggest house in the world, but that's all right. I have a doormat here. That's from Target from maybe last year or sometime. I don't know. And I got my music room here in the front part of the house. So I'll start over here. So here's our piano. I have our Steinbach nutcrackers all lined up here. These all came from my in-laws. And uh, this one, of course, have to have Mickey. Uh, Mickey came from the Germany Pavilion at Epcot. So uh, yeah, I've had him since 2007, Christmas of 2007. Um, just love my Mickeys and they should come to no surprise that I have a Mickey sitting on top of my piano. So then I have a lovely tree here. This tree used to be our only tree in our former house and now it sits up here in the front and it houses all of my musical instruments, music ornaments, music notes, music anything, anything from my former music student. There we go. So um, yeah, love having this tree here. It just makes the room super festive. This came from a former student. This came from a former student and my kids really, really like seeing their ornaments. So I've got my clarinet students, they love the clarinets. I've got my saxophone students, they love seeing saxophones. I love, you know, of course, having my flutes out. Everything is flute because I'm a flute player. It's no secret. So there we go. I've got my tree right here. And then, of course, I always have to have my diffuser going with my Christmas spirit. This is Christmas spirit blend from Young Living. Seriously, one of my favorite essential oil blends that they carry from a scent standpoint. It's orange and cinnamon and a pine and it just smells so good and I absolutely love it. And it's actually free this month in the month of December for um, new premium starter kit orders um, in the US and Canada. So get yourself a free Christmas spirit with a premium starter kit. It is totally 100% worth it. So then turning around uh, this way, I've got a couple of things on my door and around my mirror. So I've got some garland around my mirror here. This came from a, uh, a family friend as a wedding present years ago. She uh, made that, so that's pretty awesome quilted. And this, I think, came from Pier One, and it, it's actually a Christmas card holder. So any Christmas cards I get, I always put up here, um, just as you know, to hang them up, put them somewhere and I have no idea where that came from. So then turning around this direction, I've got my waiting area for my music students' parents. So of course, I have to have some little plushy friends here. So I've got a snowman, I've got a reindeer, and a dog, bear? I think it's a dog. Um, and then of course, some pens if they want to write me checks to pay for their students' lessons, decorate it out here with some Dollar Tree items. And then I've got some festive magazines that they can read while they're waiting for their student to be done. An angel hanging on my music um, wall hanging there. And then this came from a student and that came from a student as well. So this little sign, I think it came originally from Michael's, I'm pretty sure, or maybe it was Home Goods. Might have come from Home Goods. And then um, a student made me this little ornament that I just happened to have up all year round. So then going into my messy kitchen, I've got my December calendar here. Not really decorated at all, except for my December 25th right there. And I've got a Dollar Tree ornament and then this came from Michael's from years ago. Garland up along the top part of my kitchen above my cabinets and I keep like knocking it down anytime I open my cabinet doors. So I'm gonna try to not do that. Um, I think I've remedied it enough so that it's not gonna come crashing down on my head, but I can't guarantee that, <laughs> I don't know. And uh, this little guy, this used to be hanging in my bathroom at Christmas time. I decided to move it out here just cause I thought it looked cute having a Santa there. And yeah, I think that's all for that. And then I've got my Dollar Tree sign here. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Super cute, love that. 
and going into my family room. This may blur, I don't know. Sometimes Christmas lights make my camera blur. I'm not sure exactly why. So this tree came from Home Depot. Yeah, Black Friday, maybe two years ago. It's a Martha Stewart pre-lit and it alternates. You can have it as clear lights like I have, or you can have colored lights or you can have them switch back and forth between clear and colored, which looks a little tacky. So I don't do that. I just leave it as clear lights. And uh, I want to show you my favorite ornament here. I posted this on Instagram. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this already. Super cute. It's actually an antenna topper that I screwed a little eye hook into there and then I put a little bungee around so I can hang it up as an ornament. Let's see how it's like the antenna topper. So anyway, have that there. Gotta have my Mickey just like before. So then along my mantle here, I have my nativity scene that came from my grandparents on my dad's side. Couple of stockings, of course, and then just some other little cute Christmas decorations down here. This actually came from Hillary's $5 Goodwill Challenge maybe last year, two years ago, something like that. I can't remember now. And I do have lights in it. I just don't have an extension cord right now to plug it in. It's really pretty when it's lit up. But I got the sleigh from the Goodwill and then just filled it in with some pine cones and some other stuff I had sitting around my house. So that works out really well. I just got to get an extension cord. I uh, just got to get over the Dollar Tree and get another one of those. So this kind of sums me up to a T here. I have three Christmas CDs only three and here they are <laughs> in sync home for christmas i've had that since high school pentatonics love pentatonics if you don't watch these two guys they have a youtube channel called super fruit please check them out they are just so funny i just like cry every time i watch their videos and then of course downton abbey the christmas at downton abbey this is a really great CD set um, has like Carson, which is not his real name, but as I call him, um, he reads the night before Christmas. It's just so nice. If you're a Downton Abbey fan, I highly recommend that CD. So I've got those three and I've got some stone carvings over here. Had those since uh, I think they were wedding presents too, I'm pretty sure. And we're going to go over to my table. There's my little snack bowl because I had a snack before I started filming. Yeah, we're all real here. Okay, so you might recognize this actually from my $5 Goodwill challenge that I hosted. Um, and let's see, that was for Thanksgiving. And I got the charger and I got the hurricane for under $5 from the Goodwill. And these I just kind of used to dress it up for Christmas. So it's just more of those cranberries that I had, or I guess it wouldn't be cranberries, but well, I don't know what they are, berries of some kind um, around the bottom. And then this is literally a catch-all of just random ornaments and things that I had laying around. This came off my Christmas tree, so I just like stuck it in here. <laughs> I don't know. So it looks kind of cute, right? For like a table decoration. I don't know. And uh, this, I actually have a video on. I made this garland for the window out of Dollar Tree ornaments. So I will leave that link as a card up here so you guys can see that, how I made that garland. And let's go into the bathroom. This is the only other space that I have decorated. I don't even have the Christmas towels out yet. They're in the wash, um, so I still need to uh, get those hung up. But I've got a wreath on the door. And then here's the other thing from the Dollar Tree project that I made. This is a Dollar Tree frame. And then the thing that's inside it is a bag. I don't know if you can see. So really cute. Thought that worked well on our floating shelf there. Had that for years. I was probably like five or six when I acquired that. Hello. Um, and then over here, I have a cute little stocking, no idea where that came from, and a light up, which is really nice. And the light's off, hopefully you can see. It just like lights up the space, really pretty. Um, a little light up tree, which of course I have music ornament, ornaments, music related ornaments on. My husband's percussionist, and I got some saxophones and trumpets and horns and things, so it makes complete sense when you're a music teacher. I just acquire so many music things. So I think that completes the Holiday House Tour 2016. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. Like I said in the video, if you're interested in getting a free Christmas Spirit Essential Oil Blend, it is free with a premium starter kit in the month of December for US and Canada. So if you are interested, get yourself a premium starter kit. The link to the kits will be in the description bar below. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe, so you never miss a Daily Dreamland video. Kiss someone you love today, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao.